Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this easy floral cake. This is in collaboration with Cupcake Savvy's Kitchen. Don't forget to check out her awesome cake at the end of this one. The link will be in the description box below. To start off, I'm building an eight inch cake with some hybrid buttercream. The recipe and demonstration for hybrid buttercream will be in the description box below as well. Clear up the sides for your bench scraper and then the top of the cake, bring it to the center, pop it into the fridge for at least 15 minutes and then build your second layer of frosting on top so it's nice and white. Do the same with the five inch cake and pop the five inch cake into the freezer instead of the fridge. In the meantime, we'll build our flowers. I've used a 104 piping tip to create these little blossoms. Create five petals, make sure the fat side of the tip is facing the floral nail and the skinny side is facing up. For the second row, I've angled it a little bit higher so that it stands up a bit more. Once they're built, pop them onto a tray and add in some edible druggies into the center and allow those to rest in the freezer for at least a good hour. In the meantime, assemble your cakes. Make sure you have dowels in your bottom tier to support the weight of the top tier. To create that gorgeous arrangement of buttercream flowers on our cake, I've used a one in piping tip and I'm piping rosettes in a diagonal formation across my cake from the bottom to the top tier. I'm adding them in random spots because I want to fill in between the rosettes with other little flowers. This is a 6B piping tip that I use to create those large ones. And then I've gone in with the same color using a number 30, um, I believe it's 32 tip to create little stars as well. I'm filling in mostly with this. I can, you can create little rosettes with your 32 tip as well. Once it's mostly full, grab those flowers that have been resting for at least an hour in the freezer so you can handle them with your hands and press them into the arrangement. And adding these piped buttercream flowers um, looks a lot nicer than having all rosettes. Fill in where you need to so it looks more uniform. And then as a finishing touch, I have a, a leaf tip that I'm going in and I've just added leaves to the piped 104 um, tip flowers. As a finishing touch, I have number 10 piping tip to create a circle shell border across the um, where the two tiers meet and also at the bottom of the cake board. is how you create a very simple and easy floral cake perfect for beginners. I say it's great for beginners because you're using the um, 1M tip for the rosettes and the 6B tip for the little star um, flowers. The blossom I personally would think that it is the easiest flower to create with a 104 piping tip. This is a very similar cake to the one that I made a couple of weeks ago where the bottom tier was full of flowers. That took me about three hours, two and a half, three hours. This barely took me like 20 minutes so that's the great thing about it. You can have the almost the exact same effect as that cake, but it takes no time at all, which is fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. It was in collaboration with Faye from Cupcake Savvy, so don't forget to check out our awesome video at the end of this one. I'll have a link up top and also a link in the description box below this video. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on Thursday for our live stream at 10 a.m. Melbourne time.